Hey family, if you want to know how I get this quick and easy style on Lola, make sure to keep watching. Hey fam bam! Okay, so getting right into the video. First thing I like to do when I put Lola in her chair is make sure she has something that'll occupy her and keep her busy while I'm doing her hair. Alright, so next thing I like to do is to massage Lola's scalp with some unrefined coconut oil. I like to do this to prevent flakes and dry scalp. It also helps reduce protein loss and nourishes her hair. Alright, so the next step that I do is apply the Sulfur H Anti-Dandruff Hair and Scalp Conditioner. What I like about this product most is that it promotes hair growth and it also conditions and stimulates your scalp. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and create four sections starting from the bottom. And um, because her hair was already twisted up last night, I'm just going to go ahead and start undoing her twists. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and clip up the remaining twist so that there is no fall over and so that her hair doesn't get pulled in with the twist that I am going to be creating. Splitting the hair down the center, I'm going to go ahead and secure the left side with a clip. Using the new Talia YG Easy Herbal Coma, I'm going to go ahead and distribute this evenly from root to tip. What I mostly like about this product is that it smells great and it's a water-based product. Now that her detangler has been evenly distributed, I'm going to go ahead and add the TGIN Ultra Define Cream. I like this cream because it gives her a little bit of hold without making her hair hard and it also gives her hair great definition. Alright, so now the final step of this section is going to be adding the Goodies Ouchless Elastic Band to her hair. Following the same steps on the right side to the left, I'm going to go ahead and add the Talia Wajit Easy Herbal Comb Out, which was the detangler. Then I'm going to follow by adding the TGIN Daily Moisturizer Buttercream. And then following that step, I'm going to go ahead and comb from tip to the root as to not disturb any of her hair follicles and then add the Goodies Ouchless Elastic Band. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and do the midsection by taking down the twisties that were above the bottom row. And I'm going to go ahead and secure the twists that are near the top of her crown. And we're going to go ahead and repeat the steps uh, from right to left. We're going to go ahead and undo her twists and then we're going to Create the sections, moisturize, and I'll see you back at the top. Alright, so now we've made it to the third row. What I'm going to do is create a square-like shape at the very top of her hair. I'm going to pull down some hair so that you can see um, exactly kind of what shape it's molded into. You see that? So I'm going to go ahead and take that last little section that I'm holding now and put a clip on it because that's where our last two clips are going to go. That's our very last row. Here I'm going to go ahead and make the part as consistent with the other parts as I possibly can. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the medicated sulfur 8 grease to her scalp. Adding a clip here now so that the section is secure. And I'm going to go ahead and moisturize, detangle, and then I'm going to add the goodies ouchless elastic band. So what you guys see me doing here is adding the TGIN cream with my fingers to her edges and then brushing it back with a soft bristle brush. I'm going to go ahead and do that to both sides and then secure those with the Goodies Ouchless Elastic Bands. Alright, so now that the detangler is in at the very last section, I'm going to go ahead and add the TGIN Twist and Define Cream to her edges and smooth them out. And then once that, that is done, I'm going to go ahead and add the Goodies Ouchless Elastic Band to the very top. And now I think it's time to do the twists. Now starting from the very first section at the very top, I'm going to two strand twist going in a clockwise uh, motion going from right to left twisting the hair over one another interlocking them so that we keep all the moisture stilled in. 
All right, so I'm gonna quickly go ahead and twist up the first three twists, and then I'm gonna add in some soft elastics to her second row. To the first row, I'm gonna go ahead and add a ball. All right, so now combining the first and second row twist, I'm gonna hold them all together with one hand, which, my, which is my left hand, and with my right hand, I'm going to go ahead and wrap around a goodie ouchless elastic band. All right, y'all, so now I'm gonna go ahead and follow the same steps by twisting up her sections from right to left, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tie in her soft elastic bands. All right, so now you can go ahead and add the second and third rows together, joining them with a goodies soft elastic ouchless band. And last but not least, you can go ahead and do your final row of twists, and then you can add in the soft ties. And then by joining them all together with the goodies ouchless bands, you have now completed all of your mini twists. All you have to do now is just add a little barrette and voila. All right, y'all, I'm going to finish this look off by creating some beautiful baby bangs around Lola's face. And I'm going to do so with the Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel. I'm going to dab it on with a toothbrush, but then I'm going to go back down and use my finger to kind of just like brush it down just a little bit more. She doesn't like too many brushes in her face, and the toothbrush is not hard at all. It's like super soft. Thanks for watching! Bye guys!